<clears throat> it's Wednesday, April 3rd. April 3rd, got a crowd out there playing bingo. It's the first Wednesday of the month. It's nice to have everybody here. It's awesome. All right, I showed this on um, our fifth Saturday, but I want to highlight it today and give you all some ideas. It is so much fun to knit. This is a project I have done, believe it or not, and I'm doing my second one now. I did one for Vivi, and I'm going to do one for Owen. And I'm doing mine a little bit out of the box. So all my suggestions are a little bit out of the box, or we can go very traditional. So it is the bobble hat. The bobble hat, and it looks like this. So it's the field of whatever it is, the sheep with their black faces and legs, and then the sky, whatever you choose to do the sky in, and the pom-pom. So, I, so this one, the, the reason it came up, and I've seen this pattern many times, but this was entered into the um, customer showcase by one of my clients, and it was so well-received. Everybody loved it, and it reminded me how much fun it would be to knit it, right? So, I did just that, but I took a different route, okay? I made pink sheep with my favorite ochre colored field, a blue sky, and I did the ochre again up here for the stars. I put the blue down here for the flowers in the field. Um, this is for Viv, and it is so fun. I love knitting it. I took it to my retreat where I was at and where I was in Denver a couple weeks ago. And everybody was like, oh, I love your colors. They're so fun. Anyway, so that was my choice. So now let's talk about what you could do. I did it in Rios by Malabrigo. So if you want to go the more traditional route, you could do a nice um, green-ish field with your white sheep and a blue-green sky, which would be very cool. And then you get one skein of the um, Cascade 220 Sport, and that's your faces and your feet, okay? So this is more traditional, right? But what if you did gold sheep instead of cream-colored sheep? Maybe, right? Or what if you did keep everything going here. What if you did a whole pastel situation? So you did a mint field, mint colored field, right? This is kind of a minty green. And you did peach sheep and a lovely blue gray sky with the black heads and feet. I love it. So fun, a little bit of attitude. Great, all right. Then I also thought this would be amazing. So you pick the apple green grass, which I'm doing always in apple green. And then you pick the same pink sheep that I did. This one is the um, English, English rose. And then you do this beautiful reflecting pool sky. Love it. Love it. Um, I'm doing always in um, green, apple green with an, with orange, orange, his favorite, orange sheep, bright orange sheep, and the blue sky. You can go on forever. You can make any mix and match that you want. It is so fun. And the pattern, I'm sorry I didn't tell you, the pattern is written by Donna Smith. I want to give her credit. It's um, an English pattern. It's in pounds, but it's a little over $5. On Ravelry, you can buy it through the store. So one skein of each color, and you have a lot left over, and I, even after you make the pom-pom. So I mixed all three colors in the pom-pom, so just makes a really nice fat pom-pom. So you need, if you don't have the pom-pom maker, then you need one of those too. So anyway, that's my idea for tonight. I'm very proud of it. I cast on... Um, I got a pedicure today, so I've cast on always. Now, mind you, Vivi, if you're watching, don't remember this. <laughs> you're not gonna get it until your birthday in September. And Oe, you're not getting yours until your birthday in October. So there you go. Anyway, all right, that's it for this evening. 
Have a wonderful evening. I will see you tomorrow, Thursday. Today's hump day. That's good. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great evening.